welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Today, I'm gonna show you how to start a practice session, how to warm up, all right? And uh, we're gonna start with simple stuff. And basically, in a nutshell, we're gonna warm up the bow first, and then warm up the left hand fingers, okay? So, um, go to your D string, and by the way, this, is, this lesson is for if you already can play like a D major scale, you can play a few simple tunes, then you're, you can use these ideas. And if you're a more advanced player, you can then add on more advanced stuff to the basic concepts here. So um, we're going to just warm up the bow. Do some, The easiest thing you can probably do is short bows in the middle of the bow. It's like opening your eyes in the morning. But stay on each string a long time, all right? Short bows. The next thing you can do once you're starting to get your sound is try throw a bow on each string. Down bow on D. By the way, this video, I'm not gonna go too much into the technical things behind each of these exercises. I'll put links to those more extensive videos on, like on throw a bow and other stuff in the comments field below. So do throw a bow on D, up, and do that several times. Then do it with the bow on the string, but without throwing it away. Trying to get that big sound, but without a throw away. Then you do that on all four strings as well. Okay, um, then once you've done that, you can do more like even long notes on each string. Try to enjoy the sound at first. Don't rush into getting it, playing a tune. Just connect with your sound, with the voice of the fiddle, okay? Then once you've got a good long note sound, sound long bow sound, which is harder than you think to do, um, then try to do some string changing. So try first try D to A. So maybe you have a little string noise when you change that you don't, you're trying to get rid of. There's another exercise called Stop and Rock, which I have another video for, which is a great, very fundamental exercise for working on string changing. So we go down on D, up on A. Then you let go of Stop and Rock and just make it flow. Go back and forth between those two a little bit. So I have a video for that linked below as well. Do stop and rock on each of the uh, other string string pairs. G to D and then A to E. Okay. Um, when you finally got that sounding good, the last major kind of thing you can do with just bowing is uh, we can try some kind of more intricate patterns like paradiddle. but you would cycle it. So it's paradiddle D to A. And there's another one I, I teach called polyrhythm. But you'd cycle that as well. And you do that on the other string pairs. And so on. All right, so you've warmed up your bow. Time to move on and warm up the fingers. We go into this slowly too. Like the beginning of this, this sort of warm up is sort of like, like a microcosm of learning to play all over again. You're just starting from bowing, then, then some simple fingering, then putting them together. So um, now place, play your first finger. Try to get it in tune. You'll know it's in tune if the open E string rings. I can hear it. Uh, I can hear it, and I can even see it a little bit. All right. So anyway, once you've gotten that in tune, you do all the exercises just with first short bows, throw a bow now, down bow, 
up bow, then long bows. Okay, and then when uh, you've done all that with first finger and you feel good about the sound there, you do everything on the with the second finger, short bows, uh, throw it, long bows, and third finger. All right, and then if you've got all the fingers, then you're ready to do the next step, which is two note intervals. So this may be seem really boring and, and too basic, but if you really do the, these steps, you're just gonna walk into your first tune with just a centered sound. That's what I'm hoping you'll you'll get out of this video, is that you'll get more out of the things you play rather than just sort of skimming over, skimming through tune after tune. You really just be able to milk each tune and just enjoy it as much as possible. So now we're gonna do um, open to one, simple interval on the D. This is, will really help your tuning if you spend a lot of time with open to one. It's a key interval. Oh, that's out of tune. Okay. And stay with it. Try some of the rhythms you know. Ho down now. So do as many rhythms as you can, open to one. Um, do throw away, open to one, like. Throw away bow is one of the most amazing, useful things. Okay, and then after you've done all that, we go one to two and do all those exercises there. Two to three, all those exercises there. Um, you may want to then start doing everything on the A string, open to one on the A, or even single notes on the A. Depends how, how much time you have, of course. Um, if you don't have, if you only have like 10 minutes, then maybe your warm up could be like three minutes, three or four minutes, and you can just kind of fast track some of these things. Um, okay, so then after you've done all the intervals, we could do a half scale with um, different things, with rhythms. Try with triplets. And you, you could go up and down. You could just go down the scale. It's a little bit more challenging and a good practice. And so on. Try to make this fun. Try to again enjoy the sound of just simple, simple single notes, sim simple half scales, simple full scales. Okay, the last thing you can do as a warm up is to combine a bowing, the bowing thing, string changing with fingering. So I have a separate video on this because this is a great exercise, but basically the basic idea is first on D, second on D to open A. I'll do that again. So we're fingering the D, but always bouncing over to the A string. This will improve your coordination, kind of warm up your coordination. You can try it with rhythms. Okay, and then finally you can integrate those complex patterns we did earlier with the bow, paradiddle and polyrhythm with um, fingering. And so, that, so for instance, paradiddle with fingering from D to A would be... Okay, if you've been practicing and learning singing and playing, you could also do a little bit of that with scales on the warm up as well. La la, 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 la la. All right, so I think that's good. If you have a lot of time, do more of a warm up. If you have just a little bit of time, at least try to do a little bit of this. And I think you'll see it'll help you a lot. Okay, well, glad you made it to the end of another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Don't worry, there'll be more. So, don't worry. Okay, thanks much. I'll see you soon. Thanks.
Excellent.